Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about dynamic merchandising and custom category pages. Mixing the two allows me to have a pretty unique experience for different pages or categories that I have on the site. And in this case here, I have a bookstore where I want to show the different classes at universities and allow students to find the class either by the instructor's name, the name of the class, etc. Maybe get the course syllabus and be able to order the materials and even optional materials for that particular course. So let's go ahead and get started. So if I look at the out-of-the-box template for a category page in the Aurora Starter Store, this is kind of what it looks like. So I have you know, the navigation, Duke University, a course underneath it, et cetera, and I navigate to that course. And you can see we've got the filter down by the side, and I've got maybe the, the different uh, material that's required by the course. But this isn't what we really want. We want the students to be able to identify, you know, with the teacher, um, you know, what's optional, what's required, et cetera. So what I've done is under the Syracuse course, I have created a new layout for uh, class pages that have this look and feel. So you can see we've got the instructor, we've got his name, his bio, uh, we also have a course description, we've got course material, and then we've got optional material. And we got rid of the side faceted navigation, we also got rid of the product list and we used eSpots uh, to go ahead and put the products we want in there based on a dynamic uh, marketing attribute. So if we look at the different spots on this page, you can see what I've done here is I modified this category page to uh, have some new, uh, very easy to read eSpots. So we've got instructor picture for AD 215. We've got the AD 215 instructor bio, the course information, uh, the required material, and the optional material. Now, of course, these are just fake products that I put in there. They're really not for art, but uh, I think you'll get the picture. So let's go ahead and over to um, the code and see what I did inside the code to make this happen. So where I started was I took the subcategory page and I created a new page called University Category Page under the layouts directory and if you see here this has all of the different e-spots and whatnot here let me make it a little bigger so all of the e-spots the hero images etc and what I did was I simply modified the page to things to do things like you know hide the navigation etc and you'll notice what I did here is I made it I made a little table for uh, the instructor eSpot so you can see there's the um, instructor picture eSpot and we use um, the name template for the category uh, to append to uh, the eSpot as a um, as a prefix so this way every single university page will be completely different from the other pages uh, within the management center. So we've got uh, the, the instructor picture. Um, we also have up here uh, the other e-spots for like the, the sidebar and whatnot. And um, we can go ahead and hide that as an example, which I've done here. And you can see the left column, I have this div tag here. Uh, that just simply hides it. So I put, you know, display equals none for this particular page, and that's it. And then, since I don't want um, the, the, the products from the category to be listed at the bottom of the page, uh, I went ahead and removed this section down here, which is essentially uh, the category navigation results. So if you look down at my bottom, I've just simply deleted that. It used to be right here, and it's gone. And instead, I'm going to use these other eSpots that I've, that I've created 
uh, to use dynamic merchandising um, to be put into um, the you know the product. So an example. So we had the optional material, and then we had the required material. And if we go back to the page, you could see here. These are the different e spots that I just walked through. So required material and optional material. So now let's go ahead in the management center and, and see how easy it is to manage uh, the content for a particular uh, class underneath a university. So you know, I only created the JSP, but you still have to register the JSP in the Struts library. And you also have to put a record in the page layout table. Uh, so we can go ahead and um, have it be recognized by the system in the tooling. So what I did was here was I just simply inserted this row into this table and I assigned it to my new category page as an example. And this maps to the struts action. So this allows the system to know, hey, there's a new type of page out there. It's a type category page, and now it will show up in the tooling. So let's go ahead and jump over to Management Center. So in the Management Center, we go to the Page Layout tab, and I navigate down to my course. So I'm going to be working with AD215, and you can simply type it in, University Star, do Find and Add. Or you can actually browse. And for instance, these are all the different kinds of category pages that I have registered in the system. And you can see the last one is my university category page. Now this is something that you could also you know, use data load to do mass changes. Um, but you know, I'm, I wanted to show you manually how you would do it. So let's go ahead and save that. And then if we go over to the marketing tab, we can see under the eSpots, I created the different eSpots for this particular category page. One for the required material, optional material, instructor picture, bio, and course information. And if we looked at, for instance, the instructor bio, you could see I could put a title content and a default content. Um, and I just go ahead and put the default content in there. And I, I assigned Tim Brokaw's uh, bio, which is essentially HTML. And I could also, for instance, on um, like the optional material, I can go ahead and put a default title content, which shows that optional material. So if you remember, the page looked like this, and I have you know, a custom title there, and I have a custom title here, and I have a custom title uh, down here. So Management Center allows you to you know, customize the title and the content for each one of your spots. Now, for the bottom, the bottom two, which has products in it, we're not going to have default content in there. And that's why it's blank here, because we're going to utilize a web activity with uh, dynamic merchandising attributes to fill those out. So if I come over to 80 to 15, we could see these are all the products for the course. But what I've done is I've tagged the books with a special attribute called course material code. And I basically have said this is a the course material code for this is required. So if I come down to another one, this course material code is optional. So what I've done is we've got this category with five five different products in it and I'm going to use a web activity to decide what goes in there. So you can see I have two web activities, one for required, one for optional. And if I open up the required, we can see here I identify the e-marketing spot, AAD215, required material, and then I recommend a catalog entry um, using search. So I'm going to create one or more search conditions that recommends catalog entries. And we're going to have it uh, only view the category, you know, products from the category the customer is currently viewing.
but I'm gonna filter it out and I'm gonna say I only want products in this spot where the course material code equals required and the same thing with the optional so it's just the opposite everything inside this is going to be course material code as optional so if we go back to the site that is how we were able to accomplish showing uh, the products under the two different e-spots using dynamic uh, merchandising attributes and not just a a flat list of products so now the students know which material is required and which material is optional okay thank you for watching and make sure you follow me on my blog twitter linkedin and of course the youtube channel thanks a lot